Welcome back to Planet Irwin for part four of our Slow Girl campaign featuring the forces of Uthwe versus the Star Hunters, Space Marines. We are back for game four. Game one, the Eldar met the emerging Space Marines and crushed them. But in game two, the Space Marines went to hunt down the vile Eldar who had crushed them in game one but then got crushed again. But turn game three, the Space Marines have finally eked out a win, set foot on this world. We have a, we have a place now to stand, to set our face, to launch our campaign, to search beautiful planet Irwin and take whatever we want to because we're the Star Hunters and that's what we do. Uh, we have our warlord, Captain Orpington, he has yet to get a level in the campaign. He can't seem to live through a game, but he's going to survive today because today we bring assault marines and they're going to roll with Captain Orbington and keep him alive. Land speeder tornado, assault cannon heavy bolter, vindicator, task squad with a laser last cannon, task squad with a combi plasma grab gun, this is the force on the table today. It's 665 points, uh, though the points don't matter in the campaign. Uthway has returned, starring Eldrad Uthrand, who seems to be taking over the campaign, seems to fear nothing, seems to be able to do no wrong. He has leveled up twice, making him a point higher in his leadership, leadership 10, and giving him a six-inch leadership sharing bubble around him. He's also minus one to hit because he's been that productive in our campaign. Uh, I believe he's going to be carrying Mind War, Executioner, and Doom, as well as the Smite Power that everyone knows. Wave Serpent, Dire Avengers, two squads of Rangers, and arriving today... The Howling Banshees, who with 9th edition, their power swords plus one strength. Now wound a space marine on fours at minus three. Far scarier than they used to be. But still, great looking models. She looks fantastic. She looks fantastic. She looks fantastic. But we're going to shoot them to death before they cut us up. The Farseer spent a command point on this Banshee Exarch. What does that command point do? Uh, it makes her an exemplar of the Banshee Shrine. She's going to take decapitating strikes. Her sixes to hit in close combat will do mortal wounds. All right, sixes to mortal wound in close combat if she gets there. Through a series of random dice rolls, we've ended up in the ninth edition rule book in the Crusade Missions for Supply Catch. And what has happened there is four objectives have been put on the table. We have one here that's being held by a awesome squad of tap marines. We have one here in the clear space on the table. We have one next to the tower. And we have one next to or between the flower and the ruin. Now at the end of your command phase in second turn on, you get 10 points if you control one objective marker. You get 10 points if you control your opponent's deployment zone objective marker, and you get 10 points if you have more uh, objectives than your opponent. And that is a very simple cut and dry game. Uh, we are gonna roll to see who gets the first turn. Let's do that right now, since we're standing here. I got a six. I got a three, you got a two, I still get it. Um, I had turn one, crazy. Uh, we'll be back with my movement. At the end of Space Marine, Turn one, movement phase. These men on this objective, they, they stayed on the objective. And the land speeder that was here flew up and over and has landed here. It can look at the, the wave serpent for what it's worth. The vindicator has moved up to the objective over here on the right and will probably sit there for a long time. These men moved up in the woods, but woods are difficult, so they were minus two to their move. And I left Captain Orpington and the Assault Marines off the table, and they will show up at a later turn. I am going to shoot a Demolisher Cannon and a Laz Cannon 
and a land speeder at the tank and that will probably be the end of my turn. In the, in the sake of not filming battle reports for very long to, to keep my audience prisoner, I, I don't tend to film too much of my own shooting phases, but this Vindicator shot four shots, hit two shots, wounded, and put 11 wounds on the Wave Serpent. Now that turns this into a five and this into a four, but we need nine Uthway saves. Oh, I don't see any. That's nine wounds on a wave serpent. And that rock. And then the second shot of the game, Honored Brother Rim Shot with the Laz Cannon, Star of the Army, has finished the last of the wounds of the wave serpent off. And I don't think it matters if it explodes. You want to see if it explodes? It explodes. Uh, we'll see who dies, and we'll put a crater down because something exploded and the craters are finished. We'll be back in a second. After the disembarking, uh, we've lost one dire Avenger. But I gotta say, in, in a game this small, that was bad. That was really bad. Uh, in our happy campaign, something blows up against a crater, because we have craters, and we might as well change the board. If a vehicle gets wrecked, it stays as terrain. But we're not really dealing with vehicles much yet. Uh, anyway, that was bad. I have the land speeder left to shoot, and then that's gonna be the end of my turn. Uh, I'm kind of feeling for the Eldar right now, but I have faith. So at the end of the Space Marine turn, um, I, I want to have sympathy for both the, the dying race and my friend the, the Farseer, but die, filthy Xenos, die! Down to one dire Avenger, Eldrad, the Banshees, and there will be two squads of Rangers arriving. That was the best turn one I've had in a long time, and I'm super happy about it, um, but we have Howling Banshees in the game today. And we haven't seen them in quite a while. So it might be time to make them stars of the show. Farseer has dropped a command point to auto advance the Banshees six inches. At the end of the Eldar movement phase, these Rangers have appear unbidden to put their eyeballs on this squad of tactical Marines. And then the rest of the Eldar force, these Rangers have appeared unbidden and they hold that objective. The Banshees have auto advanced six inches up the river. The Lone Dire Avenger and Eldrad also have moved into the river. And we are about to have the Eldar psychic phase. Eldrad, are you ready for your psychic phase? No? We'll be back in a second. So the Farseer and I have been talking about it, and we're we're fully aware that this is a dire situation for the Eldar. It's it's as bad as it could be. But this is the Eldar. They are the dying race of the galaxy. They should be outnumbered. They should be in trouble. And they should be able to overcome with Eldar trickery. So, Farseer, what is your first psychic power? I'm going to doom the tank. The tank will be doomed. On a seven. I see an eight. That goes off. No psychic defense. The tank is doomed. I'm going to cast... Executioner on the tank. Executioner on the tank. Which, while well, technically is not awesome, so it doesn't go off, but I'm going to reroll that. And it doesn't go off. And you peril. And I peril for D3. But you're Eldrad, so it's going to be all right. For three mortal wounds. Three mortal wounds. But because of my ghost helm on twos, I shrug them. Takes take one mortal wound, mortal wound. Taking Eldrad down to five. Down to five. Next psychic power? Smite. Smite. On the tank. That goes, goes off. off. Uh, on eight for D3. Two mortal wounds. Two mortal wounds. The star hunters are warded. And one of them flies off the board. So I take the two wounds. Then I'm going to spend a command point to cast Smite again. And I'm going to reroll that because I'm Eldred. Goes off for D3. For three more mortal wounds. I've already taken two. I take one more. That is the end of Eldar Psychic Phase. So we had a little conversation, and the stratagem Unparalleled Mastery uh, was interpreted wrong a second ago. Can't cast Smite twice. So we're going to put him back on nine and... 
them's rules, and that's how that was. We are at the end of the other psychic phase, gonna go into that shooting phase. At the end of the other shooting phase, these men, they shot into the men in the river, but the river is cover, and those men had a good save. The tank is now down to seven wounds. That was shooting from the Banshees, and one wound from a, a Ranger, I think, but I believe the Banshees intend to charge the tank. Oh, yeah. All right, it's going to be minus two through the water. How far is that charge? Have you measured yet? Uh, it's going to be a 10-inch charge, so plus two through the water, but they'll get plus three to their charge. Because they're Banshees. Because they're Banshees. All right, let's see it. That is a six. Plus Not going to do it. Command point. We're going to do it again. That is another six. That's a seven. I believe the Banshees have failed their charge. That is going to be the end of the Eldar turn. And we're going to Space Marine turn two. Space Marine command phase turn two. I have scored 10 points. And I've scored them because I hold objectives. I don't have more than the Eldar because the Banshees have the center, the Rangers have the backs, and I also don't have the one in the Eldar deployment phase. And so that's 10 points for me going into my movement phase. At the end of Space Marine movement, the Vindicator has stayed on the objective. These Tac Marines moved up in the woods just a little bit to get shots on the Rangers in the flower. The Assault Marines have landed looking to throw a flamethrower at some Banshees. Brother Rimshot Squad has stayed in the river. The Land Speeder has come way up the table to also get shots into the Banshees of the Rangers. And Captain Orpington is going to run into Eldrad. Now, he hasn't survived a game yet. I would have loved to have thrown him here in the corner, taken on some Rangers, taken my upgrade, but no, we are Space Marines, and we shall know no fear. I'm going to pay one command point so these men here in the woods can fire as if they remained stationary. That command point is steady advance. I'm going to do my shooting phase and talk again in a minute. Turn one went so well, I kind of figured... Turn two would be a cleanup turn, but the Trixie Eldar, the clever Farseer, has taken away the Banshees that I would have needed to look at for my land speeder to see them. And so now he won't get to shoot them, and the Banshees can still be trouble in this game. At the end of the Space Marine shooting phase, is it the Space Marines who are arrogant, or am I arrogant? Lost two Rangers here. Lost three Rangers over here, lost one Banshee. And everybody else is doing okay. But now it's time to charge. I'm sending Orpington into Eldrad again. I know it's a bad idea, but um, I have to. I just have to. I don't know about these guys into the water. There are big, scary chaos fish in the water. Everybody who charges in there has got to roll a dice, and on a one, they die. Scary stuff charging those banshees. But if they don't, those banshees are going to charge me. Talk about it in a second. So I'm super sorry to say, Captain Orpington failed his charge, even with his reroll. He couldn't get in. And for being the star of this campaign, he's been kind of disappointing. The Assault Marines made it in. However, when we jumped into the water, we rolled two ones, and Chaos Fish came up and ate two of my Assault Marines. So we'll see if they can't clean out the Banshees. And then I guess it's a productive turn. But Orpington, it's a price you pay for being a hero. At the end of the assault phase, I have killed two Banshees, but the Banshee Axar just looked up at me and said, I'm going to hit you back so hard. Hit me, Banshee. I see one, two, three hits. This one. There's a hit. There's a command point. There's five hits. And that, because of the decapitating strike, is a mortal wound. There's a mortal wound. And uh, then I am toughness four. All wounding on fours at minus three. Black dice will be for D3. Uh oh. So 2d3, uh, you got one mortal wound on top of that. All right, first let's start with the mortal wound. The I take a wound. Well, what's the d3 on those black dice? Oh, that's just a, that's just one d3. All right, the white die is minus three. I need six. Mm -hmm. So there's a dead marine, and this is a marine. He needs three dice. I need sixes here. Hey, he's dead anyway. 
And then I need sixes here. So what was that? Four Marines I just lost? That was three Marines I just lost, correct? Yes. All right, three dead Marines. I think that's the squad. Oh no, it is the squad. Banshees, strong. Um, that is the end of my turn two. It seems long. Orpington's hung out to dry again. Um, Banshee's doing great. I need to collect my models over here and go into Eldar turn two. Eldar, thin on the ground, still in the game. The Banshees have moved out of the water with their auto advanced stratagem. The Chaos Fish did not want them. They might be charging the tank. It's bold, but they might. Lonely Dire Avenger came up and he's holding the objective. Eldred shifted over just a little bit. He's probably, is he in objective range? Eldred's on the objective. The Rangers stayed put. That's the Eldar army at this point, but we're about to head into Eldred's. Oh, wait, let's not forget these men over here. They are not forgotten. Heading into Eldred's psychic phase. So, little bookkeeping. Eldred took a mortal wound uh, a turn ago. Marked that up. Then he cast Doom, and he doomed the Vindicator. And now... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I was wrong. He doomed the tactical squad in the trees. But now he's going to cast Mind War on Captain Orpington. And that goes off. So now we have a dice off. Against uh, our leaderships, Eldrad is leadership 10, Orpington is leadership 9, I have the red dice, I got a 4, Orpington is just fine. It's my game, it just is. What's next, Eldrad? Uh, he's going to cast Executioner on Orpington. Of course. Goes off for that, D3, three mortal wounds. Three mortal wounds, but he is warded, but he still takes three mortal wounds. Are you going to do that, uh, the stratagem where you cast Smite? Yes. All right. No, I don't have any command points anymore. Ha! Huh? Wait, what about this one right here? Is that spent? Uh, yes. Psh, that's lucky for me. End of Eldar shooting. I've lost a man here. That was it, wasn't it? But now he's going to charge. Who's charging? Uh, Eldred's going to charge Butch Orgington. Through the water. That will be an eight. Does eight inches do it? Oh, yeah. Does Eldred get eaten by chaos fish? <laughs> um, we'll need a minute. Uh, that is the end of Eldar turn two. Sometimes. Oh, no, no, no. We got. We still have a charge here. Into the Marines. I got to overwatch. I have to. I have yeah, so many banshees. Sweet. All right. They are in with eight inches. We're going to have a combat over here. At the end of this combat, uh, I've lost two space marines. We've lost a banshee and a half. And we're about to walk into space marine turn three. End of space marine movement turn three. These men have turned to face the rangers. These men have fallen back out of combat to give the... Vindicator, a lot of gun into a Banshee. I know that probably seems like overkill. The Land Speeder, shooting at a Lonely Dire Avenger. The Captain, coming up to charge a couple of Rangers. Uh, I believe this will be the cleaning up. I am at 20 points on my turn three. Let's find out if the Eldar get a turn three. So that's the, uh, that's the entire end of the Space Marine turn, what are we in, three now? Yeah. Uh, everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. The Dire Avenger was shot down. The Vindicator shot at one Banshee. It was silly. The Captain, I know it doesn't look like he's moved, but he charged into those men, cut them up, and then went back to right where he was standing. But there's still one Ranger on the board. Who does he think he's going to shoot at in your final turn? He misses anyway. We are going to call this one for the Space Marines. We're going to do the after game. And Eldred has died. That's significant. So we're going to start with the most important part. Eldred got eaten by chaos fish. It, uh, it happens. It happens. But there's a good chance that he could miss next game. And there's also a good chance that he could lose his buffs. My good friend, the Farseer, he's going to roll a dice right now. We're going to find out what happens. That was a uh, five? Yeah. That was a five. He is released for duty. Eldrad will be seen next week. Advancing the campaign along, I've won today. And that's cool. That's two and two as far as we've gone. 
The Eldar have participated today. They get a point. The Space Marines get D3 for winning. And we get a big three. Oh my god, I'm in the lead. Bop, bop, bop. Advancing. So today's a big deal. For the first time in the campaign, the captain gets to level up. Captain Orpington, how are you better? Oh, you're on the floor. That's why we have the dice box, Captain Orpington. Gets an eight. What is an eight? Ferocity. Reroll any failed wound rolls in the fight phase. He already does that. Well, at least he lived. Captain Orpington will be seen next week. We will also be bringing new units. Now, this is the time in the campaign where we find out what we're bringing next week. And roll a d6. A one is an HQ. A two is a minimal troops choice. Three is elite. Four is fast attack. Five is a heavy support. And six will be a flyer or your choice. And if you choose a troops choice, you can choose a maximum troops choice. And that's how that is working. I'm rolling my dice. I get a one. It's an HQ. Farseer, what are you bringing? A three. A three is another elite. That's next week. We're calling it here. That is the end of the game. Uh, it was not the best game for the Eldar, but the Crafter will rise again because they have to. See you next week.